Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog and this vlog in particular I am going to be filming or vlogging um, our rural rugged here in Davan Fulani as you guys know I am still a copper and as a copper with NCCF we usually do this yearly um, rural rugged evangelism where we go to like a village for three days or four days and just you know help the community and preach and do as much as possible it's a form of spreading the word spreading the gospel to the nooks and cranny of the world so this morning it was actually very freezing this morning like over 14 less than 14 degrees but now we came to the community to help them tidy up i will show you in the other video what we were doing but as we we're tidying up and cleaning everywhere i still feeling warm because we are like um, burning some of the bushes or some of the dirt and it's making us feel warm this is no sea Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and we're enjoying this exercise. I would, I would, um, I'll show you guys as much as I can show you. But yes, enjoy this vlog. Okay. Here we have one of us, a fellow copper, also tidying up their environment, and we were clearing the gutters as well. We did as much as we could, and this was really impactful in my opinion because as opposed to the regular going out in number and sharing flyers, this was an avenue for us to go to the front of their houses, clean as much as possible, and they were even the ones asking us when they could come for our programs and what we're doing and all of that so i really really think this helped the community as well as showed that we also cared for them a whole lot so i really enjoyed this <laughs> We are headed to the Akimis Palace. Oh, yeah, Alright, so yes, Akimis. To so bring yeah. him this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Look at the word of God. The so living oh, word of God. The Bible looks fine. And then we have some buckets, some drums, everything. So, let's go, guys. When we got to the King's Palace, we decided to do a quick routine medical check for him as well as his chiefs and this was just an avenue to pay homage to the ruler of the town and um, we gave the Bible and I saw him later on interacting with uh, one of us to ask scriptures and we were talking scriptures it felt really really good <laughs> done here and we are going to continue with door to door evangelism best belief we prayed before going for this so if you ever want to do um, door to door evangelism in a place or an environment that you're not very conversant with it's actually actually essential whether you're even conversant with the environment or not it's essential to actually pray pray well before going so yeah we're going for just the evangelism and then we we'll just go back and freshen up and enjoy the rest of the day 
but I will show you guys. Say again. If it's not rural, <laughs> if it's not rugged, <laughs> if it's not rugged, it's not rural. And yes, if it's not rural, it's, it's not rugged. rugged. Hey. hey! Have you seen a deep well before? You guys are trying to. Have you seen this, this well? No, I'm not even, I don't want to come too close. They are scared already. <laughs> Afterwards, we invited those that were interested in making their hair to come around and then couples that could make hair decided to help them make their hair and for the guys, if the ones that wanted a clean haircut, they were some of us available to give them that. All of this is what we call non-verbal communication and it speaks a lot, it speaks loud. Alongside, we also did uh, medicals for them where we ran some tests, we gave medications, we did um, very minor surgeries. Something rewarding happened. Uh, we had this patient that really couldn't see very well. And if you remember Nancy that I showed you at the beginning of this video, Nancy is an optometrist and she came along. So after managing this patient and the man began to see clearly, he couldn't stop thanking her like he had the biggest smile it was so rewarding to me <laughs> So here we're doing a prayer walk around this community and I think it's one very very vital thing to do especially when you're trying to win a community over for God. You can't just do this by speaking mere words. You have to pray. Pray and win the land for God. <laughs> that I thought to mention just in case you're trying to plan something like this we had a prayer chain where everybody picked numbers from 1 to 12 so at every 2 o'clock if your number is 2 you will be praying for just an hour or if your number is 10 at every 10 o'clock 10 a.m. 10 p.m. 
you'll be praying for an hour this was very good as it kept us all spiritually sensitive and it also gave everyone the opportunity to at least participate in other activities that will be going on during the evangelism program <laughs> Matan, <laughs> Kaoshi Kaoshi Zaki 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 not knowing that his father has been expecting him to come. Yes, and the chair was about to sign a jiran sign and then on his way going back home, Ahanya yena koma gida. His father saw him from afar. Baban sa ya dan sa de nesa. And his father walked up to him and said, "Baban ya i te pia ya jehorin sa." And he hugged him. Said Baban ya ungume sa. And then the father brought him home. Said Baban ya kau sa gida sa. And this is the same thing that God wants from all of us here. Aban de ubenge ji Allah yena bukata awuri mudu kamu aneke na. We know that we have all seen. And we know that our living, our life that we are living is also sinful. But God is waiting for us and we are waiting for us. 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 And we are wa
So God is waiting for us to come back repentant to Him. Allah ena jira ka daurin sa kana tuba kana kurta unobenka. And that is why your salvation is very very important to Him. Shina asa cheton kai muhimin abune aure ubengi ti Allah. in this video is how rugged it is here don't expect to have your warm bath or expect to have like the best of toilets to um you know use but at the end of the day it's so worth it i hope you really really enjoyed this video and um you saw the essence for which we did some things and if you want to organize like an outreach an outreach rather or you want to organize something and go somewhere i hope this video will help you to you know include some things in your outreach program okay today is sunday we will just be doing a sunday service and they will unveil the new excuse yes so that's the end of this vlog i will see you in my next video bye guys